Welcome back to Dalton Garage. And from popular request, I'm going to show you how to program a racing tachometer. Let's take a look at this. Back, back, back from the dead. Okay, so bear with me if this focus goes in and out. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that but and also the uh, the mount keeps kind of vibrating a little bit but let's get into this um you can see here your basic racing gauge i uh, you've got the tachometer itself then you've got your shift light up top here and then you've got your two buttons on the side here so these are how you're going to program it and basically what you'll do is you'll program everything from the uh, the brightness of the gauge your shift light when you're you know when you set it up to when you're supposed to shift uh, your warning light when you're going you know at a higher rpm that then your engine should be handling uh, or before you get to that and the buzzer whether you want it on or off during your warning light and the number of cylinders, you have to pick the number of cylinders that you're using this tachometer for. And uh, the peak, so basically the, uh, the highest rev limit that you've hit, it'll save that on there as well. Um, so a little bit of everything. And it's really not that difficult to, uh, to get everything set up on it. You just use two buttons and everything so let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll kick this on so you can see what it does as soon as you fire it up basically and i'm not going to turn the motor on i'll just basically get the battery here so it does its little dance and everything and then what we'll do is we'll go into the this is what you would consider real mode which is basically when you're driving this is what you see you know a, as it's acting as it works you know as you're driving and whatnot but clearly the motor's turned off so uh so we'll go into setup mode starting out basically these two buttons here you'll hold both of those down until it does its thing hang on okay it's in setup mode so what we'll do now is hit the bottom button and it's selecting how many cylinders you have so basically you just keep clicking the bottom button till you get to the cylinders you got clearly we got a v8 so we'll stick with this and let it sit and it saves it so basically when you're in setup mode you have five seconds to hit a button or it goes back to real mode. So as long as you're clicking a button, you know, it won't go back to real mode. But if you don't hit anything for a full five seconds, it's just going to go back to real mode. But it saves what you selected. So what we'll look at now is we'll set up your, uh, your shift light, basically when you're wanting to it to tell you when to shift. So what we do with that one is, let's try this here. Well, first let's do the dimmer. So if you're in real mode, just hit down and it'll change the, uh, the brightness of the gauge. Super simple, right? And then hold the bottom button. And this is where I got my shift light set up for. So if you want to go down, hang on a sec here. Sorry, this, it doesn't give you much time to choose what you're doing. So we'll let this reset. Okay. Let's go back to, and go back to our shift light here. Okay. 
So this is how you hold down or up to get where you want your shift light to tell you to shift. So I usually go to about 4,000 because these motors in this type of truck and then let it sit and it'll save it. These motors don't really, you know, go to a high rev. They don't, that's not what they're built for. So I got it set up for 4,000 RPMs. And then we'll go to your warning light, which is always going to be higher than your shift light. So you hold the top button and I got it at about 4,500. So somewhere in that range, you can either hold up or down to move that, you know, same as what your, uh, your shift light was. So we'll go back here. Okay. And that's how you do your warning light. Give it five seconds. It goes back to real mode. Okay. And you got your shift light and your warning light set up. Now you can also turn on your buzzer for the warning light. When your warning light's going off, you know, it's blinking red, then you can have either a buzzer going or nothing. So we'll go back into the, the original setup mode, hold both of these, and then hit up. Nothing, okay, it's off. Hit it again, it starts beeping, then your buzzer's on. So. Okay. So literally to turn your buzzer on and off, go into setup mode. Hit that, it's off, hit it again, it's on. So basically if it's not beeping, you turned it off. If it is beeping, you turned it on. And then after five seconds, you're back into real mode. So super simple stuff. And then to pick your peak, which would be the highest RPM that is saved on the tachometer, it reads it, it saves it so you can go back and look. Um, so basically to get into peak mode, what we'll do is, let's see here, how was it on that? I'm sorry, there's, Reading the instructions, it's broken English, so it a little tricky. Oh, I reset it. So I had reset it earlier, so that's what's going on. So basically to go into peak mode, you just if you're in your real time mode, just hit the top button and it'll show your peak. Which right now I've already got it reset, you know, so it's not gonna read anything because I accidentally reset it. So to get into peak mode, what you would do is just hit that once. It'll show your highest one. If you want to reset it, hit the bottom one and it, it wipes it out. That's what I did earlier at some point. So my mistake there. So basically you've got your setup mode. Hold both of these. And that's how you'll set stuff up in that. Then you've got, this will be your shift light, hold the bottom one. Okay, you've got that, you set that up, up or down. Your warning light, hold the top one. This is where your warning light will come on. You can go up or down with that. And then your peak, the highest that you've gone and how to reset it. Hit up, you're in your peak mode. If you want to reset it, hit this. And once it goes back, we'll just go back from there. Um, and you're in real mode now, and you're dimmer. Just keep hitting this till you get to where you want. So that's basically all you do on the programming of this. I, I know that's kind of a lot of information going through just two buttons. I, and if you have any questions, send me a comment. I know this can kind of get a little confusing. I, uh, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. 
But thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, and we'll keep the content coming. Thank you. Back, back, back from the dead.